Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your lovely host, Caleb, and it's time for more EU4 with Ethiopia. Where the hell is the embargo button? There it is. Okay. <coughs> lovely way to start the episode there. Mm. Sorry about that. Embargo the crap out of Venice, since they've embargoed us. That should hopefully hurt them a little bit here. I hope. We're gaining. Like, we're up to 19%. We could end up becoming top dog. If I build enough canals, anyway. <laughs> Definitely working hard here. Costly trade embargo. Trade efficiency versus hazard is... I, can I even set Venice as my rival? Oh, can't while at war. Like the war, Mamluk's old Cairo. Very well. Shall begin immediately. Heretics as good. Damietta, the last Muslim province. And then we can start focusing on these troublous troublist animists. Which aren't really a problem. But you know. Whatever. Just gotta keep calm. They are trying to fight the Ottomans, which integration is the Ormo. Good. So now we can literally commit in practically no time, right? It's yeah, practically no time. Less than a year of province. Cool. Cool. This is easy stuff. Alright. Where's my third army? Where the fuck's my third army? I'm mildly concerned. Did I just lose my third army somewhere? It exploded. At some point. They, they probably caught it off guard while I wasn't paying attention. Seriously, uh, you, you want white piece? I am all for it. There. I'm sure the autos are pretty pissed with me. Separate piece, but you've made separate pieces in the past before, so go fuck yourself. Um, and besides, I did a damn good job. So, no, they aren't even a valid rifle. We reduced new trade efficiency is reduced by trade embargoes, Venice. Oh yeah, yeah. I suppose revoking the embargo is probably a good idea. Fine. There, there is literally no reason to even continue that. It's, they, these provinces are fucking dime a dozen. Alright, well, either way. Reduce army maintenance and just start raking in cash. I'm, I'm not going to be at war for a while. I, I know that much. Right now, my focus is on the construction of as many fucking canals as possible. Mostly to piss off Venice. Because, hey, who doesn't like to piss off Venice? Eh. Good stuff. Alright, so that's in just about every uh, province now. That'll be good. So we're up to 21% of the trade power here. Out of curiosity, can you guys protect trade in... Alexandria, you can, because it's got the Gulf of Suez and the Red Sea, I guess, ne as valid. That's a pretty decent king, I guess. Um, also, new unit. Get rid of you guys. Select this unit. Protect trade. Uh, Alexandria, there we are. 
Also, I should really consider a trade fleet. Seriously. Um, in other news, I still have a lot of stuff I need to build. Training fields. Oh, I actually have 112 fucking thousand manpower. You know what I don't need? Fucking training fields. It's... I, I'm sorry, I'm just... I don't need training fields. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sure, fifteen more. All right. Religious unity isn't even remotely bothered by uh, the sudden spawn of animists. Just cut and dice them up. Yeah. So. Gondor, a new capital. Uh, Beg Mender will become the new capital. Why would I? One, there, there, there is absolutely no reason to do this. I lose 25 Adden power for nothing. Or do nothing, because I already have one point of stability. Like, I, I literally don't know. Not new capital. We're, we're fine in Shiwa. She was a great capital. It was built by a vision of our second king. Shit like that. Cool. Alright. I mean, hey, I can actually make Alexandria my capital. <laughs> Rather vulnerable position then, but still. You can now westernize. I can. Oh, Portugal actually fucking... Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, let's see. National unrest. Five. Yeah, we can take that. We don't even get a national... Wow. I think I was going to need at least, you know, stability one. It's to offset that, but no. Western influences... Don't care. Although I'm sure that hurts our conversion just a little bit. Uh, three months off. Whatever. Damietta's about done anyway. Alright. 24, 29. Suddenly, uh, Venice is having some trouble keeping up with us. Ooh. Not good, huh? Government officials resist westernization. It logically exists to ignore those demands, because otherwise it's 120 in general. I mean, westernizing expensive as fuck right now, but it will actually save me in the long run. The earlier I get it done, the better, because 40% off all techs. Which will be especially uh, useful come some time from now. We're not actually losing military power, if I'm not mistaken. Every month it's just taking 10, right? So we're breaking even on military. Oh no, only 5. Hmm. In that case, well, I'm going to say uh, hire some better dudes. Even if they're not great. Eh. Diplomatic rep's always nice. Keeps everyone happy. This Antim is just taking shit. Wow. And Man, Kiev's in a weird spot. Hey, Prussia kind of unified things and is now being invaded by Sweden. Woo! Sure thing. Yeah, I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm just... Administrative rank 10, my diplomacy rank shit. Oh my god. I... I have... Provincial unrest? It, oh god, what do I do? I've never been in this situation in like hundreds of years. I seriously have kind of created a stupidly stable state. Ooh. And it works. It works. Works out pretty good. Yeah, we're just... High command was this westernization. Ignore. 
abort, retry, or fail. It's 555 years. I'm not even remotely worried. I'm not even gonna. I can't boost stability then. Well, I should boost to plus one stability at least. If nothing, for no reason other than extra trade power. I mean, let's be frank here. We know I really, really, really want Venice to burn. So every province has an armory. Good. Uh, these provinces need docks. Since they are within Alexandria. Our extra trade power doesn't hurt at all. Yes. Yeah, they the trade dispute with Venice. Yes. We are suddenly commanding a vast quantity of uh, trade power because we've actually upgraded our provinces. And the second we westernize and start actually getting some trade related stuff, hmm, good stuff. It's going to be huge. Yeah. But yeah, I'm hoping that uh, we'll actually be able to conquer all of Africa. I've been kind of slow, unfortunately. Slow down in the mid game just simply because, uh. Watch moves, it's. Mamluks became the defender of the faith and all that. I don't really care about any of those people. You know what? Fuck westernization. I'm just gonna fa start fabricating the claim. It. And we're just gonna go invade some people. I probably could at least have the decency to put funding in my military. I am kind of short on general cash right now as a result of westernization. Popularity of tobacco. How do ya? Not really helping there, huh? Yeah, ineffective missionary work. Stupid event. Okay, I'm not even remotely worried about that. Go right ahead. We'll fucking just kill you. <laughs> I, I ain't taking shit. We are pushing right forward. And we are one hell of a stable state capable of doing so. But I mean, westernization could take like another ten years. I don't really have time to sit around for that long. We know that. Unfortunately, I am losing one power a month. And that makes coring kind of tricky. Nope. I am all in favor of mercantilism. For the fact that I need it for fucking Alexandria is, is so important. Like, every point of mercantilism is huge. 30% bonus to all my trade friggin' things here. It's amazing. I don't even have a merchant here. Does it even affect that? Not really. Receives a bunch of trade power coming in all over the place. Damn. Mamluk stole eight percent of the trade power somehow. No, they haven't built a single building, probably because they've been so far in debt. Hmm. Looted. Yeah, gonna need to try and start going that. Once we have access to Tunis, I'm just gonna rampage across North Africa. I hope. Do 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 do. Get all the way to Lekman. Start taking on Morocco. I think just starting from here in, it's just going to be nothing but a uh, horrific bloodbath across Africa. It's time for everybody to die. <laughs> They're still out at the Mamluk. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really the best option now. Take uh, whatever's left in Africa from the Mamluks. Just move on. Damn, Cairo's good. Hell of a good capital. Hmm. So. Uh, westernization. Ho oh, hum. Oh well, we have the claim, so let's move.
Merchants resist westernization. Go ahead. Like I said, it's better to sacrifice a small amount or a smaller amount of power. Alright. Because, I mean, 40% extra monarch points per level is pretty rough on tech. Unfortunately, it won't get me any new units, though, which I really need. These African units are shit. Like, just fighting the Mamluks is hard enough. Also, for the first time in, like, ever, we're going to be fully religiously united. That's how long I have not been at war and conquering provinces. <laughs> like, I need to speed this shit up. I usually have a backlog. Not this time. Mm -mm. Oh no, Bengal will join in. Whatever will I do, guys? Bengal. Eh, well, whatever. Also, at some point I should probably build an embassy. Since I do have the money for that. There we are. This. And a canal in Damietta. Poof. Is it 31% of the trade power in climbing? Because I actually bothered to upgrade things. I mean, these guys are at 13. Like, this is just going to be a terrible, terrible slaughter. I'm at 17. They, they, they don't stand a remote chance. This is not, this is not war. This is colonialism at this point. That's just how bad this is. I am just... Oh, man. Oh, man. Just wow. Because I'm militarily on par with Europe, and that's scary as hell. Oh, Lord. Yeah, like 18. I'm at 17. And almost 18. They're probably getting closer to 19, though, so... I'm practically on par with Europe. That should scare everybody. Alright. So, unfortunately for these guys, their provinces are worth probably jack shit. Yeah, I can probably take, like, a... 10 provinces from this war. And I'd land to do that, in fact. It's going to be rather unfortunate for Yao. Reality is they're just first of my victims. And then once I actually have a clear path to walk through. Which I now do. I probably also am going to come down here and eat up some of the Congo. At the very least, these two provinces need to be eaten. Because then seals in the Congo. Seals in the freshness. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we have obstruction. Yeah, two plus two national unrest. I don't care. <laughs> While westernizing, don't care. Hmm. Nobody cares. That's what's great. Try and keep that power flowing a little bit. I'm obviously not going to tech up now because Muslim. <laughs> I'm going to wait until uh, this. Being ahead of time, this technology gives us the following benefits. Trade efficiency. Mm. Uh, reactionaries are just westernization. Yeah, whatever. I just kind of noticed that that's right there. I'm just like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll divert some dudes to deal with it. But uh, for now, it is time to uh, end today's episode. Part of the way through westernization, as we uh, also are part of the way through Central Africa. And we are just going to annex this all. Ethiopia shall rule Africa. What? What? That was a fast fucking siege. I think in general, siege times have just dropped dramatically. Cork bottle stopper is great. I went to 7% and instantly won those fucking bastards. Also, damn, my good leader died. 
Wow, that's good. Alright, so thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Kaelvin. Get wrecked, son. Signing off.